What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a virtual deep dive style podcast uh, with two hosts that conversate with each other about all of your actual sources that you've attached. It's a really, really cool functionality and I'm excited to show it to you. Now, before we get started, if you're watching this video, chances are you're not subscribed because 99% of you are not subscribed. And that's a pretty bad number. So if you like this one, be sure to click on that sub or thanks button below. So onto the video itself. What you're gonna wanna do is go into notebook lm.google.com. This is a Google experiment. Uh, so you have to sign into your Google account to get access to that. And then you're going to create a new notebook. And here you're given an option to upload all of your sources. So if you're studying for something, this might be a really cool way to uh, study for it. So uh, what do I have downloaded actually? Let me see if I have something. So I'm going to go ahead and download a PDF of this documentation. Now this is something I've been uh, learning a lot about. So it's something that I want to learn more about. And I'm just going to go ahead and download this entire 719 page document and save that here. And then in the notebook, I'm going to go ahead and drag that into it and it will start processing the file. Uh, now you can also give it links. So for example, if this is about uh, Windows device drivers, uh, maybe I want to send a link to the Windows documentation. Let's go ahead and add that source. We'll choose a link this time and we'll paste the link. And then I actually just released a video that shows you how to install a virtual display driver. I'm gonna go ahead and paste this as a YouTube video link. And now it's going to scan the YouTube video transcript and add that as well. Now you might be saying, all right, where's the AI transcription deep dive? Well, it's right here, two hosts in English. There's a deep dive conversation, just hit generate and give it a few moments and it will generate a full deep dive conversation based on the the sources that you've provided it you can also see that it's given us a really nice summary here um, you can have it create a study guide a fact a table of contents a timeline or even a briefing doc but my favorite feature is definitely the audio overview which creates a deep dive conversation i'll show you what that sounds like uh, once this is through and I'll, I'll actually play it for you all right so it's finished and we can go ahead and click play it is a 16 minute podcast so i will not uh, play the whole thing but i'll show you how it starts and how uh very conversational and cool and clean the conversation is it sounds like a podcast i honestly generate uh these about uh things i'm learning about quite often let's try it out all right let's dive into this windows iot enterprise ltsc 2024 thing yeah you know, we've got a stack of documents here, and it seems like there's a lot to unpack. Oh, yeah. With this specialized OS. It's a whole different world than, like, you know, your everyday Windows on your laptop. Right. Yeah, this is exactly. this is the stuff that's... Um, the stuff most people don't think about. Yeah, they don't even realize runs on Windows, right? Yeah. ATMs and... Like kiosks and... Kiosks, all that, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Medical devices, even. So what makes it different? What makes Windows IoT Enterprise LTSE 2024 different? Well, I mean, the biggest thing is right there in the name, right? That yeah. LTSC okay. long-term servicing channel. Right. Um, so that's like, you know, this is meant to last. Mm -hmm. They're guaranteeing 10 years of support. 10 years. That's like forever in tech years. It is, especially, yeah, these days. Yeah, exactly. Um, and, you know, because these special purpose devices, they're kind of, they're meant to do one thing and just keep doing it. Right. And they need to be stable, secure. They can't be crashing in the middle of something. No. All right, not bad, right? That was very, very conversational. It sounded amazing. And dare I say, uh, it did sound a lot like Leo Laporte. Maybe I'm crazy, but let me know in the comment section below if you think that that might have been trained on Leo Laporte's voice. If it was, hopefully you got a nice little cut from it. If not, well, I don't know. But um, he's got a great made-for-radio voice. Absolutely great sounds perfect in a podcast setting and i'm glad that whoever made this was sort of inspired by it because it sounds great i even put my own documents in here and uh listen to stuff to learn all the time um, but yeah that's how you make a little conversational podcast you can even go in the top right corner and download this so that you can release it as a podcast or something like that it's kind of cool um, but yeah that's it for this one thank you so much for watching and have a good day peace